This week, my family and I are taking you on a voyage on this beautiful monohull Palipte. This is where the adventure starts, on an island called Lombok in Indonesia. Okay. A long time ago, we traded the safety of land and houses for less conventional living. As you can see, it has its perks. But recently, there's been the stress of getting to know a new vessel and I'd unknowingly put our family at risk. So please join us for nearly an hour and experience it all. I read something recently that I wanted to share with you. In the end, the philosophy of sailing was a meditation on the human spirit, a testament to our enduring need for exploration and understanding. It was a celebration of the harmony that could be achieved when we embraced the unknown and surrendered to forces that had shaped our lives. As the sailboat continues its journey across the vast, undulating sea, it remained a poignant reminder that despite our limitations, we are all sailors charting our course through the ever-changing waters of life. So our friend Torrin lent us this 35 foot vessel whilst we continue to wait for our trimaran build to be complete. This in-between phase of boats has brought us like lots of new experiences so far, like a trip to the Arctic Circle, sailing on an electric boat in Spain with our friends, test sailing other trimarans in Thailand and visiting one of the natural wonders of the world on an awesome old traditional ship. And after all that, as exciting as all of that has been, really what we love the most is doing exactly what we're doing right now. Smelly cows. Can the camels be my friend? Yeah. Well, they're cows for starters. And yeah, they are my friends. I like the one at the back. <gasps> What's up, babe? Well, I just finished up with the vet, who was lovely. Uh, they drained Chuchi's, like, she had a lump of fluid on her collar from where she got bit. Anyway, but I also found out that Chuchi has not only a ringworm, which is super contagious. I remember I actually had a ringworm as a kid. They're gross, they're going to show up anywhere on your skin. She's got other parasites. Oh, don't jump in the water, Chuchi, no. Uh, and also fungus and bacteria. Like, she really is a walking disease right now. We've nursed her for a week now. But I just don't know if I can... She's going to jump in the water. I just don't want to put my kids at risk. Like, we've got open wounds, like the kids are falling over. It would just be so easy to contract something from this dog. And it's a small boat and we're all living, like the dog wants to sleep on Riley. He's got a rash on his leg already. Like Darwin's already had parasites, I'm not doing it again. And there's no dog shelter here and no one wants to take her. So I'm in a bit of a situation. Like I literally, I don't know what to do. There's a dog shelter in Bali. We're gonna have to figure out probably how to get her to Bali. You sad? I'm, yeah, I mean, I am, I am sad for the dog, but I'm more sad for the fact I didn't know this like a couple of days ago and my family, like we could have already contracted something and Darwin could be in hospital again. Like I'm just, I'm annoyed at myself for just thinking that this was a good idea. Chuchi, come back! She's gone! Neutral. I wonder if I got ringworm. Bit itchy. 
I really hope the kids haven't got anything. Okay, I, I thought maybe I was overreacting before, but I, the more and more I think about it, the more I realise, no, I'm probably right, and this is, this dog has become a bit of a danger to our family, unfortunately. Uh, so you'd think that would, was going to be it for the morning, but I just went to get a nice drink of fresh water out of our sealed fresh water tanks. These are what you buy from the store, and I just pumped out a tiny worm into a bowl here. Well, first I drunk the water, which is why I'm feeling incredibly anxious and stressed right now, because I don't know what this worm is. Like, could it go into my intestines? Is it also a parasite? I don't know. I just messaged our doctor from Bali to ask. I thought I got unlucky with the worm, but then I just pumped out more water and two more worms came out. So it looks like this fresh water tank is contaminated and the whole family has drunk it. This whole morning has just been, I'm meant to be doing some voiceovers and um, working, but I can't really concentrate on that. I'm just like, I really feel so sick at the moment. It's not a good feeling. And this dog just did a shit on the bow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should also mention that she's had uh, a couple visits with the vet. We've been giving her medicine, applying ointment to her wounds, like feeding her, giving her medication, taking really good care of her. Uh, but we just, we just can't, I don't think we can do it anymore just in case we all get sick. So I'm currently messaging around trying to find a dog shelter on the island. Keep you posted. How's your wee, babe? Tootie. Okay, this is amazing. So a friend of a friend just found a guy. Um, someone who will collect Chuchi today around midday. He's an hour away. Um, he's just asking for some money for a dog cage, obviously, and dog food. And they're still building their new shelter. Uh, but this is great news and he's just messaged me. His name's Wayne. No, oh, thanks Wayne. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> I love you, Wayne. Have we done a police clearance on Wayne? <laughs> Why do our people do that? Yeah, who is this Wayne? Pretty, pretty. We're gonna miss you. So in here I've got dog food, her medication. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. This is Chuchi. Chuchi? Yeah, like what? Okay, so it was such a coincidence that the quarantine police, the two guys in uniform here that you can see, happened to be having lunch at the marina and they saw us bring this dog in. They were worried, understandably, that we'd sailed the dog in from another country, but we quickly and confidently told them that it was just a local dog we'd helped nurse back to good health. And everything was chill again. Hey, hey Lenny, this is who we're gonna give Chuchi to. This is Wayne. Wanted to say a massive thanks to Wayne. Um, it's his sister's shelter, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, um, and we hope to be able to see the shelter and maybe even help out at some stage. Yeah. Help do some building. You're hungry, are you? What about Chuchi? She's leaving. Darling, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Chuchi, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> say bye-bye. Give a pipe. What's your teacher? Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> okay. Pretty sad about Chuchi. I'm glad the, the boys aren't too sad. That was what I was mostly worried about. Um, and yeah, this is our last day at this marina. If you can believe this is a marina, it's the most beautiful, quaint, tiny little marina in the north of Lombok. And from here, I'm so excited. We're actually sailing to the Gili Islands, which is off the coast of here. Gili Tea is actually where we're going. Riley's been there once before and we keep hearing just amazing things about the island. There's no bikes or cars, only like bicycles and apparently horses and carts. Sounds beautiful, sounds like a pretty kid-friendly place too, although Riley did say it was pretty crazy nightlife. So we might have to have a night out too.
So I've just left Riley and the kids on the beach so I could come back here, do some editing. I've got some voiceovers. This is the least fun part about this whole lifestyle is the editing on a laptop with limited power on the boat, uh, usually in a hot and humid environment, but we get it done. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. Laptops away, just pure adventuring and that's the fun part of the job. So I'm looking forward to that. And while I've got you here guys, please do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. It's free to do so. And give the video a like and leave us a comment. That'd be amazing. Thank you. Athletic Greens is today's sponsor guys with their AG1 formula. I have one scoop a day, sometimes two. Panties makes me one every single day. We've been at this for years now and I can tell you I'm more relaxed, I have an increased sex drive and I think I'm an inch taller. Every scoop contains 75 vitamins, minerals and whole food source ingredients. It is based on science and what science indicates is best for our health. It supports your immunity, it supports your gut health and you probably will notice an increase in your energy levels. It has adaptogens, pre and probiotics and antioxidants. So if you're like me and you're worried that you're just not getting enough of the good stuff that you need every day, this is what I do. What they're doing is they offer five travel packs for free as well as a year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 with your first purchase today. Thanks again to Athletic Greens. They've been with us for a long time now and we absolutely love their product. This boat is missing a few essential items like a strainer. Darwin, get down. Okay, can you pass me my phone, darling? Mm -hmm. Navigating in Indonesia is really difficult, so you need to use Google Earth on top of any other navigation that you're using. There's reef all the way out and all the way out there and you would never know it unless you looked at the whole area at midday with the sun coming directly down. Let me, let me do all that again. So as we're leaving, I have to pay super, super attention. It's quite early, but you'll forgive me for that. And in Indonesia, it's really difficult because the charts aren't necessarily good and in this particular spot, they're terrible. It doesn't have that, re it says that you could sail all throughout this bay but, and you really can't, you'd run aground. And you'd run aground all the way out till you pass the, the headlands of this bay. So you need to use your charts for big picture stuff, then your guidebook and Google Earth to, to try and be getting it right. And Google Earth doesn't have the direction that you're headed, it's just got like where you are. So I went from one side of the bay to the other just then and then I was like, oh, a little, little bit too close. It's just one of the challenges that you've got to deal with whilst living in, in paradise. This is amazing.
Helena. There's heaps of turtles. Like, you, I haven't seen many heads, but I see the downwelling as they like cruise down. Just making some coffee, cleaning up around the cockpit, making sure it's nice and clean for this passage because the current get, can get pretty wild. Oh, no. Don't touch Mama's drone. Mama's drone. Woohoo! And we've just got a bit of wind, so we're gonna unfurl the headsail for the first time with Darwin in one arm. This trip is going to make for lots of great bonding time between us all, isn't it? Come here. Do you reckon this will just come out nicely? Uh, when I get it set up, I hope so. You feel the breeze? are off we're probably going about three knots are we going three knots yeah. feels like it could even be faster from the current red yellow red yellow where's the red oh good boy yeah so this down here is the life raft i was really happy when torren said it was a brand new life raft and like recently repacked so it's good to go if in the worst case we were to sink or there was a fire and luckily here in Indonesia, there's so many islands, like we're not too far from another island, unless we're south. But we do have a few plans, um, just safety wise, for those of you who are interested, because it is something we're always thinking about, just like um, a plan B. There's no real coast guard here that will come and rescue you, at least that we're aware of. So what we've done is we've gotten some emergency contacts. We have a friend in Gili T where we're going. They have fast speed boats that could come and get us. There's a marina down south in Lombok. We have their contact. We've already asked them if that would be okay. We're signed up with MSOS so we could call them any time of day for medical advice and they could help evacuate us if it was a serious medical emergency. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all we've got. Yeah, but it feels good just having that plan B and I do recommend people doing that. We've, I think early days, we never had a plan and it caused me much anxiety and it's so easy to just make a plan. So yeah. And down here is our, this is our satellite phone. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Darwin, no, you don't push that button. No. <laughs> Butt car. Good point, mate. And this is our sat phone because obviously we don't have cell range everywhere and maybe people aren't listening to the radio. So we have this to call people's phones in an emergency. And I'm here in the bathroom now. Behind here is all of the big people life jackets. Got some harnesses down here to clip in if we want. And these are the kids life jackets I brought from uh, the factory in Vietnam. These are ours. But the thing with this boat is the edges are so high, like unless we were heeled over sailing pretty hardcore, we feel super comfortable with the kids just as they are like that. 
like they ain't going anywhere and we would definitely it's a big no-no on the um four deck there without a life jacket but yes this is the current situation what's that mate there's a jellyfish in the water there's so many oh this water looks so nice wow it's very clear hey lenny where are we going today Check out this current up ahead. See that? Can you see the bottom, Lenny? Lenny, hey, hey, come on, talk to me. What's going on, mate? Can you see the bottom? Our bottom is the lion. Are there robots on the bottom of the ocean? No, they aren't. No, they Is there a submarine? come from the rapidos in Thailand so he's probably like what is this <laughs> why are we going so slow well we wouldn't be going fast on anybody yeah man. that's true wow big scores of fish jumping out of the water oh it's stopped now maybe it'll do it again you see it Lenny? I don't know something under the surface I think it's fish I just said to Raleigh, this is so exciting. The ocean is so alive. Like we don't know where to look. There's turtles everywhere. There's bait fish jumping out of the water and other unknown creatures just under the surface at the moment. It's really exciting. Lanny, look, see all the fish out there? Okay. Yeah, they're big. <laughs> big fish. How's that autopilot going? Fine. It makes a bit of a noise. It's got a personality. Darwin, no, just stay downstairs, mate. Just leave them. Just leave them. Stay down there, mate. Put them away. Lenny, can you just pop it? Darwin, just stay down there, mate, okay? Entropy predicts that certain processes are irreversible or impossible, and because of the conservation of energy principle, entropy is considered to be a measure of disorder within a system. I shouldn't need to point out what has brought that to light recently. So I'm mates with Adam Baxter who runs, I forget the name of his dive school here, but I, I was hanging out with, with these guys when I was 22 and he's organised a mooring ball for us, Elena, but because the current's pumping so hard, it's gone underwater. Oh, really? So, so there's another one here that we're going to have to just grab hold of until the other one pops up again. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> it's all good though. So our process for kind of doing anything is Elena quickly sticks the kids on the cartoons to eliminate them for five minutes. Then we come upstairs and make a plan or we make a plan whilst that's happening. So the plan is happening now. See, there's a boat over there called Duo, okay. Elaine. Uh, yeah, there's yeah, a, I see it. There's a mooring ball, I believe, to the east of that, which we're gonna pick up and their crew is gonna help us. The current's ripping, so I wanna shorten 
the, the rope on the tender here, the painter. Yeah. And um, get ready. Do you right. want a helm or do you want? Not yet. So why don't you do helm this time? I'll grab the mooring. Okay. Oh, we got that one, right? Wow, look at that. <laughs> well done, babe. Where's the other one? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, hey? Huh? Do you want me to go forwards? Um, yeah, if you just throw it in forwards, yep. that'll help. Yep. Got it. <laughs> Way to go, mama. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Trawangan, or Gili Tea as it's referred to, is one of three islands making up the Gili Archipelago. The word Gili means small island in Sasak, the local language here in Lombok. The scuba diving and free diving here has attracted people from all over the world. In and around the Gilies, you're guaranteed to be amazed by the abundance of marine life and coral formations. We were about to see all of this underwater for ourselves very soon. I really did come here 10 years ago. This was the first place that I did a free dive lesson and I fell in love with the, with the area and the gillies. It was from here that I went to go and buy a boat and my plan was to bring it back here. Really? Yeah, didn't you know that? No, yeah. and now you're here. I said that I wanted to pull up on a, I just finished telling Adam. Adam and Sarah run Trelangan Dive and I met them like ages ago and this is the spot. We weren't planning on staying so long in Gilly Tea, but each day that passed, we found ourselves getting more and more sucked in by the energy here. With no strict sailing itinerary, we decided to give in and just make the most of this place. on my chin and on my face and then on my neck and on my legs. Uh, the dog cries if we put it outside so last night it ended up in my bed and that's where she's going to be again tonight.
how we're eating dinner. <laughs> High enough off the floor so that Darwin can't get hold of it. Two gloves together make a triangle. That's done. <laughs> they do. <laughs> that is. Okay, that's done. Okay, three plus one. That caused a sip. Ship. Ship. That's done for Luke. <laughs> A relief. So Riley's friend Adam who owns this dive shop, they also have rooms and he gave us the keys for a room for the day because Riley decided to go diving. So me and Donna are hanging out. I'm about to go get Lenny from school after we go get a snack. Are you hungry? You want some food? Cool. Yeah? yeah? And I can't tell you how good this aircon feels. So yeah, the thing with Gilly, not many sailboats are here. It's not a good anchorage because of the ripping current, but we got one of our friend's mooring balls, a super strong one. Once we come into town for the morning, that's kind of it. We're not going back and forth from the boat because that current's ripping and it's a steep beach. <laughs> I gotta take this guy for a walk. Come on, should we go get a muffin? Okay. Okay. Oh, Popo, Popo. There's nothing in that fridge, mate. It's Riley getting stuff on his boat now. One of the best things about living on a boat is hunting our own food, but it's pretty hard though. It often takes a full day, especially since we're always in new areas. I met these dudes on the beach and they were kind enough to take me out for a spin. Yeah, that's a barracuda. Elena and I have spent the last nine years avoiding them because of their putrid smell, but the lads here love them. How was your trip? Did you see our fish? Yeah, I saw a couple. Okay. Yeah, like, no mackerel, saw a sweet lip or a yellow fish. Okay. Have an arancini bowl. Oh, man. Yeah, and there's sushi. Oh, man. Come and eat some. I'm going to say good day to Lenny. Oh, 
This is oh, the yeah, king. Kind of looks like this is the king. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, darling. Life jacket on, mate. Let's put this on you. Not going anywhere. Okay, arms through. Arms through. Quick. Arms through. is clear but don't let it fool you. She is raging. Wave hi to mama. Hi. <laughs> I can see your hand. All right, so this, the, the place, look, horse riding, there we go. Our friends have a um, horse riding place, a stable, it's somewhere here. Okay. This morning, we were to surprise the kids with a unique experience. They'd be going horse riding for the first time. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> G'day, Jerry Sausage. <laughs> hey. Hey. Jerry Sausage, that is the funniest name in the world. Looking good, dude. Yeah. All right, are you ready, Lenny? We're gonna go for a trek. Huh? Yeah, I'm coming. But it's gonna run away. No, it's not gonna run away. Why? Well, because we have help. And they're clever horses. So you live in the dream. You should see it through someone else's side. Our friends not only run the Trawang and Dive Shop here, but they also rescued a bunch of horses and ponies during COVID when everything shut down. They were abandoned and left to survive on their own. Sarah did a fundraiser to keep the horses alive and thriving, so if you do make it to Gilly Tea, you should absolutely get certified and dive with them and go for a horse ride with Sarah. I'll pop their website link in the description below. <laughs> you ready for sleep? <laughs> I'm sleep? I'm going home to sleeping, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> hello, 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 yeah. If you leave anything, you might have to get stolen. <laughs> oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I won't put that part in. <laughs> Adam's just showing me all the spots along South Lombok, and they're few and far between. <laughs> Um, I'm like, what about this spot? He's like, nah. <laughs> what about this one? Nah. Uh, potential anchorages we're talking about. Our friends agreed to wrestle with our kids for a while so that Riley and I could free dive together. So the surface of the water was filled with a layer of jellyfish that stung like heck. Riley was covered up enough, but my rash guard was pretty useless. At least I'd have Riley's footage to look back on later. Lol. Oh, 
Bobby. We'll be leaving Gilly T next week, but we're already dreaming of the day we'll come back. Maybe we can get the boys certified to dive here when they're a bit older. Please stick around for something Riley wanted to share with you guys. Um. So I wanted to make this movie because I wasn't going to get to the funeral or if you go to a funeral you don't I mean a whole bunch of people wouldn't even know if I went or not and I thought that maybe if I did this it's sort of more set in stone um, so I lost a, a really good mate of mine of, of ours um, committed suicide is that the right way to say it? Um, Daniel Balfour. And I just wanted to make this make this one for him. Um, and Elena and I have spoken on this channel about mental health before and you know how important it is and I can't think of it all right now and I don't want to make any mistakes so I'll just put some stuff on the screen which um, might be helping which, which might help some people out there